Hi, I'm Virgil with the American Tin Sealing Company and we're here to install a backsplash today. So you always want to start in the corner and work your way out to the end cabinet. And the same way with the long side, you want to start in the corner and work your way out to the end cabinet. Um, so you, what you want to do is measure 24 and a half, that's the size of your panel, mark it out. And then you want to measure the height. And your height is what your cut will be. Um, our measurements from earlier before was 15 and a quarter. So I'm using the tape measure and a fine point sharpie marker. So we measure out 15 and a quarter on one side and 15 and a quarter on the other side. I also have a square I'm using as a straight edge. You line up the marks and you scribe along at 15 and a quarter. The first cut we're going to make is with uh, the tin tip. So you've got your line scribed. Always want to try to cut on the outside of your mark. And your point of your shear should always be following the outside of your mark. And that ensures that the that you're cutting on the outside of the line. As you're cutting, pull up on the piece that you're going to keep, which is the 15 and a quarter. And you've got it cut. Now it's ready for install. We have everything measured and cut, and now today we're ready to install um, the panels. So you have two options. We can either brad nail it or you could either liquid nail it. Um, so we'll start with panel number one. Panel number one, like I said, you want to hit the high points. Which will be right on the inside of your nail rail. All the way around the perimeter of your panel. And then you release the pressure from your gun so you, you don't have liquid nail run, running out. So now you're ready to install the first panel. So you start at the bottom all the way back and you just push and hold. So we have an outlet um, and this is panel number two we've already pre-measured. So what you do, you pull a, a measurement from the edge of your, the inside edge of your nail rail, which is seven and three quarters, and the outside of your panel number two, which is seven and three quarters. You make a mark two ways, and then you measure from the bottom up to your box, which is seven and three eighths and then measure from the bottom of your panel so you got seven and three eighths and seven and three eighths make two marks and then you go from the outside or your other measurement so it's ten and an eighth to the outside of your box you mark two spots on that ten and an eighth and then you use your straight edge and you just straight edge over and you draw your lines That makes, and then that makes your cutout. That's where you're, you're going to cut the, the tin panel. Use a drill bit, and it really doesn't matter where you drill the hole at uh, within the square. You start in that hole, and that gives your starting point to where you can start cutting. And we're ready to put number two up. It's real important to locate your nail rails onto the one that you've already affixed. That's your locating point or your positioning point on the panel. A little brad nail right in between the nail rails. So the panel molding um, we're going to use for this side which we have a, it's a little bit thicker, so we're going to have to cut the metal, and then we'll, of course we'll have to cut the length on the uh, trim. Put 
between. And now we're ready to put the trim piece on. And we measured it and it's out even here, the trim piece. And just pop a little brad nail in it. So that trims out that side of it. So you've got one L completed. And we've got panel number four. So you slide it in at the bottom and then you slide it over. Panel number eight is the same way. Uh, it's already pre-cut and we're actually using the, the other type of trim on the edge of, of this panel. Take your trim off and just lay it to the side. And put your adhesive. Just want to run your adhesive right down the edge where your trim's going to fit. Go ahead and slide your piece of trim on. And that'll be gluing it or adhering it to your panel on the inside. So you have that attached. And then on the outside, just run a little bead of adhesive on the outside of your trim piece. And that'll make sure that everything is intact. Ready to put it up. Locate your, locate your locating nail rail. Firmly press it against the wall. We have the outlet cover that we're going to install, and the outlet cover actually matches as faux painted the same color as your backsplash panels. So the next step. The next step we need to go through is the caulking. Um, basically, most people use a clear caulking which matches anything and it actually seals everything up. Um, but they do offer browns, uh, blacks, whites, different colors that could potentially match your backsplice that you buy from the American Tin Sealing Company. So again, you want to start in the corner. And you don't need much because you're going to rake it in with your finger. But you just want to keep a constant pressure on your gun. Put a little water on our finger. And we're going to go right down through there. We can supply um, a three ounce jar of paint in most instances to match your panels. And there's a, a small fee for that as well. If we can't match, if you if you can't supply the material for you, you can usually get it at your local automotive store. They can match about any kind of paint. Just take a sample of your panel uh, to the automotive store and they can match, you know, light colors within the panel so that you can just purchase it from them. So what we got, we have just a little artist brush and we got a little bit of the paint. And what we do, we just dab a little bit of the paint on there, like here on the, the head of the, the screw on your outlet cover. 